So faith in Allah needs to be unwavering. It needs to be shatterproof. It needs to be solid. That's when you will be able to overcome. You made a profit for so many years. You will make a loss for so many years. Try your best. Work hard. Be a good person. Don't harm and hurt others. Have a good relation with Allah and keep going. Those struggles are a blessing. When you are far from Allah, you have forgotten Allah and you are harming other creatures of Allah, then your hardship might be a punishment from Allah. But if you are a good person, you are trying, you help here and there, you've improved yourself, you are trying to obey Allah's instruction. Those are the two main things you need to do on earth. My rights that I need to fulfill for Allah, which is my salah, my zakah, my psalm, my hajj, my fara'id and that which is compulsory, that is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you're doing that and the second thing, hukukul ibad, I'm fulfilling the rights of the creatures of Allah. I'm kind. I remove jealousy, hatred, ill feeling from my heart. I try to help people. What more do you want? What, what are we on earth for? We are on earth to fulfill all these things. If you've done that, have hope in Allah. Have hope in Allah. In the meantime, improve yourself every day. Then when a day comes that you are struggling because of a loss in terms of the dunya, thank Allah. Don't worry. Thank Allah. When the Prophet ﷺ went through hardship, do you know what he said? He said, Oh Allah, if you are pleased with me, I don't mind what's going on here. If you are happy with me, never mind what happened. Subhanallah. Look at the yaqeen and conviction because he knows. Innama dunya fana. This dunya, this world is going to come to an end. Subhanallah. I sit and look at the trees sometimes and I tell myself, man is so weak, he will last 70, 80, 90 years, right? The tree is sitting there for 200 years, solid. Subhanallah. Imagine. And you look at a tree and you think to yourself, man is bigger and stronger and more. That tree is sitting in the cold, in the heat, in the rain, in the drought, whatever it may be. And it's solid sitting there every season that when the season comes, the flowers come out, the fruit comes out, you know, the, the leaves are there. It's mashallah in the wind. It's moving. Man gets depressed. Man gets so weak because the conviction we have needs improvement. We can change the world by changing ourselves. I know it sounds like mantra, but it's not. It's a verse of the Quran. Allah says Allah will not change a nation until each one changes himself or herself. So there you go. I need to talk to everyone about change starting with myself. And that change should be positive. Learn to help, learn to reach out to others, learn to empower, learn to say a good word, learn to make people's day. My brother, mashallah, you're looking good, alhamdulillah. And the brother starts smiling. What did you do? You made his day. And that's all. They'll go back at least with some sort of a smile. Imagine you're being bashed morning to evening and in the middle you come for Salat al-Jumu'ah and someone says, Assalamu alaikum. So good to see you, my brother. Alhamdulillah, I'm so happy to see you today. Just that much. You go home and you think that my day was a mess. But one brother made me smile. Subhanallah. What is that? The brotherhood of Islam. Greet people. What is Jumu'ah all about? It means gathering. Why do you have to gather? To, to know one another, to know the difficulties, the problems, the issues. I must help you, you must help me and so on. Today, why are we failing? It's the other way around. I see you, I start thinking, mm, too much money. Huh? And I see someone, you don't know, it's a borrowed vehicle. It's this, your brother, you want to live, no one else is allowed to live. See someone say, mm, look at the way he's walking. He's arrogant, this guy, man. Why? What negative thoughts are they? You see someone, what is he doing in the masjid? Did he lose his path here? That's the type of statements people utter sometimes in their minds. Brother, purify your mind and your heart. Look at others, be happy. Be happy they are here. My brother, whoever you are, we love you. You are here in the house of Allah. That's what it is. You are more than welcome. And here we will not doom you and throw you out. We will welcome you and help you in whatever issues you may have. May Allah grant us the ability to do that. That is Islam. That's why we have Jumu'ah and Jama'ah. Imagine if you come for Salatul Jama'ah every day and one day you happen not to be there. People will start asking, where's the brother? What happened? They'll phone you. Are you okay? Is everything okay? Until you might have to turn off your phone because of an irritation. It's a good irritation, isn't it? I rather people call me to say, are you okay? You want me to do anything? Is everything fine? That is the deen of Allah. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has said, and I end on this note. He says, 
believers are like one body. If, a, if a, an organ from the entire body is in pain, the whole body suffers insomnia and is in pain. Today when an organ is in pain, you know what we do? Chop it off, out. That's it. May Allah Almighty grant us ease. May Allah forgive us. Really, this is a reminder to myself and to yourselves. There is no solution except for us to become steadfast ourselves, to learn to care for one another. Every life has its value, Muslim or non-Muslim. Every life has its value. For small matters, people are beginning to harm each other, to kill each other, to cause problems. And it starts off with a small spark. You swore someone, they swore you back. Then they swore your mother, you swore their whole family. Then they swore your tribe and you threatened them. Then they threaten you and then one person has to just fulfill the threat. Or a threat got to a third party who loves you so much, they took it in their hands to do it for you. Subhanallah, what happened? This is the end of the world, man. Subhanallah. Where are we? May Allah Almighty grant us all steadfastness. We are living in trying times, tough times. Everyone takes things to heart, takes things personally. No, don't worry. You will be attacked. If you haven't, welcome. It's coming. Subhanallah. You will be said wrong things about. No, if it hasn't come, it's coming. That's why Allah has spoken about it. If there was not going to be this problem in the ummah, you would not find these verses in the Quran. But they are there because Allah wants to prepare you and I to say, you know what? Relax. You need to worry about yourself. You need to be concerned about those around you and those who are dependent on you. And you need to fulfill the rights of all those that you have to fulfill the rights of. But remember, if someone else you have no control over has started saying or doing, do you know what? Protect yourself, defend yourself. Yes, but don't take it too seriously. My beloved brothers and sisters, every one of us, we go through some sort of sadness, depression in our life. And this dunya is created in such a way that you will have test and some days will be for you, some days will be against you. But don't be hopeless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not keep you sad for long. Allah will change your status. Allah will change your condition. But you need to change yourself to change your own condition. If you are not having any job, if you are not having any business or if you are not having any work, then every single day try to get a job try to get a business or try to get a work work hard finally you will see someone is employing you or you are getting some opportunities allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful allah is rich allah is wise allah is kind and continuously ask him with your hard work allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely give you and allah will bring you out from the sadness that you are going through do worship Allah and help others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps a person when he or she continuously helps others. Support others to grow. Make others happy. And you will see that happiness is touching you. Bring smile in the face of others. Give salam when you meet people in the masjid. You will see, you will create a great difference around you. The community will change. We have to care for one another. When we support one another, when we make other people happy, when we grow together, the community becomes more happy. We know sometimes when we are sad, we don't feel like even talking to others. It's really difficult. But, لا تكنتم من رحمة الله Never ever despair in the mercy of Allah. Many a times we go through some situations because of our sins, because of our mistakes. So we should try to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should ask His forgiveness and Allah will forgive us. Allah loves those who continuously seek repentance. When you do istighfar, when you seek repentance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the door of sustenance, risk and happiness for you. So let's cry to Allah. Let's beg to Allah. Let's plead to Allah to forgive us and to make us happy and content in this dunya. And always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The more you thank Allah, the more Allah gives you.